I think we should just go to Miami and just let the scene tell the story of what's going on. You want content? Come right in. You know, there's a lot of things to think about in this dock. We're turning dock four around really quick. Is this our mountaintop moment in morning combat, our biggest close up? But is it also the beginning of, of the end, the beginning of the, the final run? And is that run gonna be compromised? Are we gonna sell out? Is my art gonna close doors? Because it wasn't understood. Bienvenidos a Miami. Hello, everyone. Versace and Morning Combat had to take its talents to South Sea come for a fight this day. Versace. I'm going to put heat stroke on that list. Uh, We've never seen an event like this before. Versace Mansion. All right, seriously, I'm sweating my balls off. Can I get the, can I, can I take this off? All right, so it's Thursday. It's about noon. In Miami. Now it's fucking raining. We are going to the Versace Mansion for the Mayweather Paul, basically media day, red carpet event. The robes are garish, uh, but we're gonna fucking wear them. I've got a black one, he's got a yellow one. Mine's the color of my shit after a long day of drinking Pepto Bismol. And his is the color of his dehydrated urine. This is really an inspired yeah. choice. Still riding clean, making cheese, get my dick sucked. Still riding clean. We are in uh, Greater Miami. The deadbeat poets, the philosophers used to say, when in South Beach, do like the Romans do. We're here in a parking garage. I think there's a dead guy in the car over there. A lot of nice messages on the dirt. We've got our robes. Let's do this. I got fears, right? I don't want to be selling out. Is MK selling out in general, just being here? Just putting on the robes? Or am I artistically sliding right into what Miami is and what it offers? Was I born for this? Do you have a lens that filters out the sweat at all? The city, the stage. You got 26 minutes to decide in this dock. We are absolutely ready to go. Oh yeah, somebody grab we are that. Absolutely Where is ready to go. It's BC's back. Let's call. go. Fire it up. No, I'm literally on fire. I, I really just don't want to get fired. Live to camera in five, four, three, two, one, go, Luke. Live from the Versace Mansion, it is time for the Mayweather versus Paul Media Availability Day. They want to put me in a Versace robe, right? They might not be made for this type of heat. But the thing is, though, I bring the heat too, right? Live, it's showtime <laughs> with Brian and Luke. Nice to meet you I'm guys. I'm seeing a little John Lennon vibe coming off of him right now. Yeah. It's a mystery, yeah. Leonard, because no. everyone claims they have it. Floyd Mayweather has the hat. What's cool is we've seen a, like a different side of Luke, like like happy, jovial. Oh, hey! He he's in, he's I was in hoping the house. this guy would come through. I have something to show you. Ice. Did you expect him to walk off the plane with Pink Panther pants? Hold my microphone for a second. This is all. I, I've been waiting to interview you for a long time. You're 26. I'm old. I'm, I'm 41 and on the verge of a heart attack. I'm sweaty Stop. and washed sitting next to you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Oh, Marilyn Flag, I see you. Yeah. DC, you DC, yes. got you. You should hose me off with carbonic acid when this is over. How about that? Miami is hot as balls. Are y'all hot? We are sweating, we're, we're, sweating I, balls I, I think here. we've reached like the runner's high where it just sucks, but you kind of live with yeah. it, you know? Sweaty robes aside, that event was a monster success. The two million viewers on YouTube can't be wrong. And I think we hit a home run. Versace robes at the Versace mansion. You have to ask yourself, did the unfortunate turn though with Floyd Mayweather, is that a negative on the on the experience? When you were in the peak of your game, us in the boxing media, we were hard on you. Maybe you didn't fight the guys in the order that somehow we wanted. Floyd's unchallenged. He's undefeated, he's 50 and 0. Somebody had to step up and challenge him. Why not me? I fought everybody. Uh, yeah, you went on to fight everybody, I'm saying it, but 
So if you I, didn't so, get so, your so due. my thing is this. I'm not, I'm not endorsing so, this. Let me, let me get this right. So if I don't fight a fighter when you want me to fight him, I'm not saying we were right. That's the point. He came out for this interview, and I think we all win because of that. Oh, yeah. It's like fun. Yeah. Give me another fighter. Well, I would have liked to see Give Paul me another. I wanted to see welterweight Paul Williams against you, but you can't have it all, okay? You can't have it all, all right? It could have happened. Hot foot Josh Thompson style. Your boy BC stomped it out and finished the job. You, you got so far. everybody in the end. You just fought us. Thank you, Floyd. Great all chat right, with thank you. Thank you. Is this art so strong that it's going to end me? Or am I just a, uh, an accessory to the art? You gotta pull something out of there, it's like part of the duck, right? Have I completely sold out, or is this documentary, you know, living footage of us in mid sellout? You know, I was just talking to the patriarch of all things uh, Showtime Digital and, and, and really Morning Combat. This is, uh, you know, this is the Godfather. This, you know, you know, you know Vito. Vito, you know, Godfather, I'm, I'm very <laughs> thankful, you know, I mean. You got any favors for me to add, you know, right now? This is great, you know? You know, I still didn't finish Godfather 1 right now, though, so no, no spoilers here. It's always great to uh, to kiss the ring and, uh, you know, talk about the future. Hopefully no one gets whacked. I like your idea of uh, bibs for the kids, like Wu-Tang Morning Combat is for the kids, uh, and uh, also sex toys. It was a little controversial. I don't, I don't know about that. We're going to hold on to those. We're going to hold on to those. Yeah, let's go eat breakfast. Let's go, let's go do that. All right, let's see. Hey, call it, by the way. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know where ultimately it leads, you know? So I gotta, I'm, I'm towing the line, really. Uh, Doc like Four, you're gonna be a part of this? Or? It seems like I might. <laughs> you would have to make an appearance. You have to subpoena you to find out what's going on? I mean, is Jay back this week? We're gonna, I don't even know. We'll right? find out. I'll have to we'll read the script. Out. Yeah, all right. Jay, can you, can you just give us one of these? Pennington James, new song out today. Check it out, Spotify, uh, YouTube, all the places. It's out. This new Pennington James uh, video, I mean, in, <laughs> probably a minor, <laughs> it's, a, it's a minor miracle. This thing is a, uh, wow, wow. Luke's experimenting with his art in a weird way, and it goes way deeper than the Pink Panther pants. Sure. Let me move a little bit. So this represents like Miami. You see this lady with the headphones here. Did he watch Docs two and three? Did he lament the lack of FaceTime? See, I have an atom right here. Like, like a atom. nuclear symbol. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it goes to over here. So. That's phenomenal work. Back yeah, here. you gotta give it two weeks, go back. You sat for eight hours at a time. Yeah, yeah. This, this, was, this was seven. Tough as shit. Yeah, right? Right? He's he's trying to you know. Really, he's trying to, you know, we can, is he, is he the Simon Cowell of tattoo crit critiques, maybe? Look at this buffoon's tattoo. I mean, you got cartoon characters from, like, an a impoverished country on your leg. There's nothing more regretful in life than, uh, well, spoiled leftovers, because you forgot to put them in the hotel fridge because you were too hammered. That's a, that's a, that's a... Uh, it's hard to deal with that, right? But uh, also, uh, where were we? Friday morning, I got an interesting opportunity. They said, one BC's out. I'm Brian Custer, the host. I'm Brian Custer, the host. I'm Brian Custer, the host. Let's go to the bullpen. Let's get another BC, all right? <laughs> Undercard press conference about to start. Uh, we got some big names, okay? Uh, these are the people supporting Floyd and Logan. You want Jared Hurd? You want Badu Jack? You want Chad Johnson? You want Ocho himself, number 85 in your scorebook? Is he number one in boxing's heart? Are you aware of what you're entering? Okay, I know I'm getting a little more serious now. My name is Brian Campbell, and this is the Undercard press conference for Mayweather Paul, putting on the, the, the big boy clothes and, you know, hiding the rash the best we can. 
which is not a good look, right? Look like I got a look like I got a hickey from uh, look like I got a hickey from Wilson Phillips, right? All three of them. I mean, that's that's something right there. Right? Is that poison ivy because I did weed whack for 90 minutes before I got on the plane on Wednesday and my wife said, you know, don't weed back by the tree. There's poison ivy there. You're gonna get, you know, you're gonna get, you'll shoot your eye out, right? I did get a prescription of prednisone. It's a steroid. It's an emotional hand grenade when I, when I, when I messed with it. But uh, uh, I look at it as a challenge. He's well known. He's number 85 in your scorebooks. Number one in your heart, though, Sweet Feet himself, Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco. Uh, you've caught passes for a living to great success. People are gonna tune in to see if you catch that fade or you're the one delivering it on this one. You may see me, you know, uh, the maestro of the press conference, you know, you know, sending out the questions, fielding the answers, keeping it moving, but there's gonna be a time when I'll look at that camera, you know what I mean? <laughs> be a little bit artsy, and the, and, the, and the ones who know again, who know that they know that they know. They saw art, they're gonna know. They're gonna know. What's more important to me at the end of the day? Money, fame, happiness, health, or art? Can you wanna take one passenger with you? All right, going live with the videos. All right, videos are going in. Oh yeah, South Beach is the backdrop indeed. MK, Miami, we back at it. Tell them what you did to introduce Chad Johnson, how he didn't knock you the fuck it out. It was a lead in, he was standing, sitting next to me, I was at the podium and it was a lead in to the next question and I just basically said, you know, for a guy who's known for, for uh, catching passes for a living, we're gonna find out whether uh, he's gonna catch that fade on Sunday <laughs> or he's gonna be the one delivering it. And uh, uh, Luke, you know, I looked over quickly, I was like, He must oh, have been man. like, what the is, fuck? Is Why that, would you say that? <laughs> I'm a huge Real Madrid fan, uh -huh. and I know you are as well. Yeah, your ba bandwagon. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a Napoli fan, but was a fan of Cristiano when he was there because we were cool. Okay, fair enough. Virginia's finest, Luke. You are a. Oh, uh, I am from uh, Washington D.C., but I. Wait, wait, oh, look, I there. love it. I love it. But this I went to uh, I went to uh, college in Virginia. Where in Virginia are you from, sir? I'm from Franklin County, Virginia, aka. You know the moonshine capital, but you know I reside in Roanoke, Virginia, is where I train. Roanoke. At. The trash talk between them. Insane. It's, it's gotten good. It's gotten me fired up. It's gotten me like, I'm a little itchy. Like I have a rash, like I have poison ivy on my neck. It's like. You dude. do have poison ivy on your neck. Just like. Dixon Doja Coin. That's, did, what, that's what Morning Combat's did, got for you. How did he right? get involved? Uh, that was the answer. Dude, Jake Paul is. He's. Oh! Oh my God. Oh, I'm too big. Dude, oh these chairs, God. these chairs, look at this guy. You've been in the weight room, you big fuck, I can see it. Bro, I know. bro, you gonna let him talk about your form like that? I didn't know he was coming. I didn't know Brendan would agree to, to appear with us. The deadlift I thought was sensational. Thank and you, I told sir. you as much. Your bench, your bench is, it's a problem. Oh, the, the, four, the 400 was a problem for you? So he's a big star. I'm not joking what I said on the air. We, he's got the level of a brand in terms of followers and, and name notes. That's the kind of stuff we would dream about at Morning Combat, above, you know, above the art and, and being critically successful. Aaron, well, don't put me in these fucking director chairs and I won't look like a goddamn polar bear riding a tricycle for fuck's sake. Yeah, there was sake. a lot of chat online about your pink pants. Yeah, and that's you, what you want, man. It's a fashion statement. And also, dude, so I looked at Brendan, a guy I respect a lot. We brought him his flowers when he sat down. But I looked at it as, I respect your material so much, I want to use it on you. This guy, he I'm pays alive. for his ink. That's that's some good shit so, right there. Do you think Brendan Slade more as a Division One college football player or a <laughs> UFC fighter? Which one makes you want to shit more? What is the difference? I mean, in definitely feelings? fighting, dude. Fighting. This was a long time coming to, I know, to look take at brands us, and rub them against each other and just see what kind of sparks and magic. I'm so pumped for the weigh-ins tomorrow. Yeah, me too. So for folks who may not know, it'll be this trio. We're hosting the weigh-ins at the Hard Rock. Hotel and Casino. That was fun, and I look forward to hosting the weigh-in together. I look forward to being on that level for this one. Hey, All right, guys, love you. Thank you, Brendan. We'll talk to you soon. What was the question again? Do uh, rival docs. Rival docs. 
So to see Morning Combat become an influencer in this space potentially by the success of these docks, again, commercially, I don't get it. I don't get why they only do like a third of the traffic of a regular MK episode, but it goes to show you who are the best bands of all time. The ones that are on top of the billboard chart? No, the ones who consistently stick to their brand. And that's why you have to understand um, what, were we, what was the question again? Rival Ducks. Rival Ducks. That, you know, we are in the space to make an impact, and I think it has. If Brendan, if, if Stack and, and Matt Barnes, if they want to follow suit, I'll tell you what. That suit, it looks nice. You wear that suit long enough, it'll get sweaty in there. It'll heat up. It's real life. Augusto Sakai. <laughs> That's what a dad who just doesn't give a fuck dresses like. It's hot as balls. Luke and Brendan have a dynamic that's different than Luke and BC. I'm not jealous of it, but it's something, it's something, there's, you know, there's energy there when those two are together. Uh, the, the only thing is to go back and look at the video, when you pull the bar, it actually makes a noise, it clangs. So you have to go through and find someone to teach you this because I can't teach it to you, but the, you're, when you pull the bar off the ground, it should not make a noise. I'm sure people realize they've got really good uh, energy because they're two bros, man. Oh, so you, have to, you have to pull into the bar, and so the bar should, or when you sit into the bar, it should, it should come off the ground maybe an inch. And you just yanked it, you yanked it. Who am I when that happens? Am I insecure? Am I the am I the third wheel in that group? Maybe you can you can go back and watch the tape. Maybe, maybe that's not where I belong. He hit a guy yesterday. Will you fucking stop? <laughs> Here, look, watch this. Put, the, put this. put this motherfucker on me. I guarantee. Here's what just happened. He said a bunch of dumb shit about I'm fucking arting. I'm arting. I'm arting. <laughs> And then he goes, look at Luke, he's not being loyal because I'm talking to Brendan. Something, something no, irredeemably no. stupid. And I caught him, which no, is why when I caught true. him, he true. turned around and was like, poison ivy. Yeah, I mean, I Get that. fucked. Wow. There was actually a storyline that the two of you guys right. are, are being uh, bonding and yeah. being friends. And then he was left to the side he's wondering what was going on. He's that, the cut. There's a storyline. There's, there's, there's a storyline. But think how far Luke and I go back. Yeah. I know this method acting, we, I call it living. You know what I'm saying? This I, I called his second pro fight. It's all an act. Second pro fight. We should do a, a oral history. Uh, a we doc? Should, oh, we, no, we should rewatch it. Yes. We should it do a. We should do some shit around that, that, right? Something oral. We should do around. He that. He fought right? like a local hero. So I feel like an, you know the extra one, the the kid brother sidekick, but it's not keeping me up at night. We're at the Hard Rock for the Mayweather Paul weigh in. LTBC, we're gonna meet up with Brendan Shaw. We're gonna, we're gonna. Oh, God. This is big. This is big. This is when you put the serious face on, okay? Oh. No jokes. Oh, God. No Saturday's game time. It's a weigh in. It, you step it up. It's gonna be real Saturday at the weigh-in stream. This is a big platform and a big opportunity, and we get to, you know, we get to rub elbows with B, that's money. It's a spectacle, man. Below the morning smoke. You gotta know when it's time to, uh, to switch gears. If Floyd and Logan can laugh into the cameras on All Access all week, but when they face off, it's real. When they throw punches, it's it's real. BC's gonna 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 get that money player, and he's going to uh, he's gonna show you. How do you upset the apple cart? Hey, I'm gonna get it done. It's a fight. Anything can happen. Uh, Floyd's not ready. That's all I can say. Best of luck to you. I've been at the top level for 25 years, so I know what it takes when it's a fight of this magnitude. Much respect, champ. Best of luck on Sunday. Thank you.
All right, well, we really enjoyed you guys uh, tuning in. This has been one hell of a of a week. It's we got Trick Daddy. We, we had Trick Daddy, We had right? Trick Daddy. He no didn't nah. play trick, uh, trick Love the Kids, though. He didn't, but I felt like, Unreal. you know, you got to grade him on a curve. It's fine. I, I I got what I was looking for out of Trick Daddy. Well, don't he's, talk about his figure. Talking about curves. Right? I said no right. words this, about that, that he's whatsoever. A legend, right? He's a legend. Please. Trick, trick Daddy right. 60. All right. he, you know, the black was as slimming as it could have been. The shirt, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know? I'm already in trouble with enough famous people this week. Okay, All right. I don't need we got to get out of here. For Brendan Schaub, that's Brian Campbell. I'm Luke Thomas. We thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow at the fights. Hey, what's up, man? man. You're the reason why I'm in the MMA media. I always wanted to get into it personally, there you go. bro. Thanks, man. I know you always. What's your name? Mike. Mike. I know you always talk. You always kind of say whatever about yourself. And I'm like, wrong. Tell you, a lot of people in MMA because of you. And then I got into boxing because of you too. Because once I saw you, there you go. And he got into dick everything. jokes because of you too. So I appreciate. I was into dick know? jokes a little bit before. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm a beast shot man, so you already know. Your support, really always. You know what? He always. loves the documentaries. He says. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, there's one person. Make sure you put that in the dock. 30 is the highest dumbbell that they have. You understand? It may look good now, but what you guys don't know is we had to pause our workout for 45 minutes so we could go tear porcelain over there. I had what could only be described as an unbelievable shit attack. You have to hinge at the hip. There is a difference. He means well. I'll tell you that. He knows, he knows some shit. He knows some shit, all right? Coming up, the main event, Floyd Money Mayweather taking on Logan the Maverick Paul. This week has taken off in a way that I can't control that. I don't know, you know, where we are in the dock or where we are in the, is this good or bad? I don't even know where we are right now due to this, uh, this rash uh, med that I got. How's this gonna work? Because, dude, like, we gotta go live when the main event is over. I gotta watch the main event here. You wanna do that? No, I dude, I gotta do the main event recap at ringside. So, basically, after the ringside videos, or ringside interviews, or I mean, in-ring interviews after the fight are done, I'll wrap up a sh my short recap, send it, and then we go right up here. These guys are gonna have to be all ready. Doc four, we were gonna go to the beach metaphorically, physically, literally, and, and, and come bear. But uh, what I do know though, it, what was the exact question again? Oh, the doc, doc four, uh, it's been uncomfortable. Right here looks good, right here looks good. Touch them if you like. But maybe that is the best kind of truth because the, you know, the gloves are off, you know, you're vulnerable. Not a lot of technique behind these punches. Oh. <laughs> you know, the animals are dangerous when they're hurt. You know, I'm a bit hurt this week. Being in some of these crossfires that were maybe self-induced, but also, uh, you know, dealing with the fact that this is very honest and real about where we are, where the brand's going, where our relationships are going, and what we're after. This is the real shit. You got it right now. This is the this is the good shit, right here, and and it's it's uncertain. It was promised fun. Our doc's gonna be a lot more exciting than that. Fight. that doc is Our doc is gonna be really good. Fight. This doc that you're watching right now, it's probably really good. It's better than that fight. I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm done with this shit. I had a great time in Miami. It's a really nice city. I'm, I want to get the fuck out of here. Thank you.
Good gracious, ass is bodacious. It's Friday, July 9th, 2021. And this right here, Morning Combat, Las Vegas, Park MGM, the setting. How about the dogs that came out? To Round see us of right applause in Las Vegas. Woo! Woo! All right, what up, Luke and Brian? Love the show, watch it every day at work. It gets me through the day, and I appreciate everything you guys do. I like MK because Luke Thomas keeps Brian Campbell in check. Perfect right there. It's got holes, it's got holes. Oh, that's perfect. Love the show. Monday, Wednesday, all day, every day. MK, love you guys. A few months ago, uh, I went in for uh, my bisectomy. I was super nervous, um, but knowing that my man BC has gone through the process, it really made me feel a lot more comfortable. Um, hearing him reference it, knowing that he's gone through the pain. So I went in there, got her done, sent it to MK, and it's a wrap. Snip, snip. I'll get an MK tent this yes. chest. Yeah, I'll wow. get an MK tent. Luke, I just want to remind you that I was the giver and you were the receiver of the sausage. Yeah, that's oh, from uh, yeah. Spokane, Washington, Mike Chiesa. That's that's pretty much Gonzaga. That's all we got. That's bad. We don't have anything else. Yeah. This is ready to go. I love MK because they're the best analysts in the game. Congrats on two years, guys. Much love from Philadelphia. It's the best mix between fight analysis and great entertainment. So keep it up, guys. Good job. Hey, look at this. Happy two-year anniversary. Thank you to all the MK dogs. Yeah.